Hi guys. Yesterday in the group, um, we were talking about mockups for a Tumblr. I had one of the members asked about um, creating a Tumblr mockup and she was looking for Polaroid pictures. So it got my brain to thinking there's got to be some kind of YouTube video showing how to make a Tumblr mockup on in Canva, which of course there was, but I'm going to take this a step further. I will leave the link for the original video that I saw, but I'm going to take this a step further to show you how you can do it absolutely 100% free inside of Canva. So if you are a Tumblr creator, mockups are a great way to show your product image without having to actually make the Tumblr. Being a designer, I use mockups continuously. That's how I give inspiration to um, crafters to show what they can do with the designs. But this is a great way to show uh, your product with actually without having to actually make a physical product. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And we have a couple of little hoops that we have to jump through to get it to work so that it is absolutely 100% free. But to me, it's worth it because this way you don't have to make a product that's just going to sit there. And then if you don't sell it, it's just sitting there. But anyway, so to get into it, the first thing we're going to do, I am inside of the free Canva version. I have Canva Pro, but I have a free version open up here. So I want you to see that this is absolutely doable. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to, I'm going to click on video just so that I make sure it is the right size. And we'll click on this here. And this size right here is actually, I believe it's 1920 by 1080. But we don't actually need um, it as a video, so I'm going to drop that down. And on this screen here, let me widen this out here to see if I can get this a little bit bigger. Okay, I am going to go over to Apps. And in Apps, if it's not showing already, I have it up because I was playing with it, you can come over here and Discover and type in Maka. And this is what you want to click on. Okay, and we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to packaging, see all, and I'm going to click on this one right here. So even though this isn't what our mock-up would look like, like if you have one that has a straw, I'm going to show you how we're going to get this to look the way you want it to look. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring it up and resize it a little bit here. And I'm going to come through and I'm going to go to my uploads, which I don't have it uploaded yet, but I'm going to make um, a mock-up with my teacher subway art. So I want to upload and find where my teacher subway art is here. I believe I already brought it in. I have so many files, if you can't tell. Um, let me... Okay, click on this. This is just the PNG, my PNG file from my design. And I will leave the link to where you can find this free design also on my website. But I'm going to click on this. And I want to actually duplicate this first. And I'm going to bring this into here. Okay, and then I want to move this over. I'm going to add a page and I'm going to bring this design in again. And I want to bring it up to the corner and then pull this down. And then I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, and I'm going to line it up again. Okay, and you can highlight both of them, come to position and make sure that it's in the middle. If it's not, like let's say you had it off a little bit off of this here. You highlight both of these, go to position and make sure it's in the middle. But I want this to be like this. So it looks like a seamless design is what we're trying to do here. Okay, so now I want to go through and I want to click share and I'm going to download this. I only want number two. So let's go to PNG. It says all pages. I only want number two. So I can click that off and click on number two and down or done hit download. And this is going to save as a PNG file. I'm going to open it. Okay, I'm going to right click and save as. I want to save this as, I'm just going to do um, full design. All right, and then close that out. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to upload and I'm going to bring that back in. All right. So the reason that we can't do this with this is because this um, is two pictures and I don't want to do that. You can't bring two pictures into uh, a Tumblr or into this drag and drop right here. So let me duplicate that just so we have another one. But I want to bring this in and I'm going to bring it 
into this. So actually we don't need this. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to hit edit and I want to click on full. So see how this is full here and this is small. Click on fill and it'll make it fuller. And I'm going to duplicate this two times. Okay. And then on this, I want to click left and it will move your design. And on this one, I'm going to click right. Okay. And I'm going to highlight all these, go to position, and I want to do middle, and I'm going to do tidy up. But actually, I'm going to make these, um, first I'm going to make them so they fit here. And I want them actually to be closer. And you can arrange these um, so they're closer like this. We're actually going to be taking off that top right there. But I want to kind of get them in the same line because I'm going to put them on a table background. Okay, they look good there. So now what I'm going to do from here is I want to share. This is page number one. Download. I only need number one. Done. Download. And these are the little steps that we have to go through here. Okay open and I'm going to do save as tumblers with background. Okay, so now I'm going to go to a background remover and I tried one before where I just did the regular background remover and a lot of people use this one. This is the remove BG, but to me um, the quality wasn't good. So I'm going to go to this free background remover. This is in Adobe. I have Adobe Illustrator, so, um, okay, mine didn't come up. Well, sometimes your name will come up if you're already logged in, but this is a free background remover, but you do have to sign up to use it. So we're going to do upload photo. And I'm going to browse my device, background, open. Okay, and this is going to take off your background. Now I want to download this. If you have not signed up for an account yet, it's going to tell you before you download it to sign up for your account, and it's free. This does not cost you anything. Okay, downloading, and then it's going to save to my device. And there it is right there. Okay, but I'm going to save it in that folder. Tumblr, no background. Okay, I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to go back over to here. I'm just going to create another one here. This is the one we just had. I'm just going to delete that. I still have it. I just created another page. So now I want to upload. No background. And I'm going to add this to my page. Okay, so before we go any further, um, if you have Canva Pro, you can look for straight tumbler. And see, I don't have Canva Pro on this one, so it's not going to show me, but they do have graphics that, like this one here, you would have to take out your background and use that top. But because this is the free version, I am going to show you what you can do. I found a free, um, Tumblr mockup, this right here, that you can download. This is from Creative Fabrica. It is free, and I will leave the link for this. I'm going to open this, and I'm going to extract all, browse. I have um, a mockup folder, but I'm actually going to save it in the same folder that we were just in. Select folder, extract. Now, in this um, mockup, you have, let me show you here. This is a PNG, this is the JPEG. One of these, go back over to here. Okay, we're going to upload. One of these has, I believe it's the PNG. I'm going to bring both of them in just so you can see. Instead of hitting um, the upload again, you can just drag and drop. Okay, so see how this one turned to black? This one actually, if you use this, see how it's like kind of see through. All right, so I don't want to use that for this. I want to use this one but we need to remove the background so we're going to go back over to adobe express the one here okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna go right back over where we were. Upload. I want to bring in this one right here. And this is removing the background again. And this extra stuff here I don't really even need. I'm just concerned about this top part right here. So I'm gonna download this. I'm gonna open, right click, save as, and I'm gonna do um, no background. Right out of this, go back over here, come back to here, and bring this in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring this over here, and I'm gonna shrink this down a little bit, and make this a little bit bigger. You don't want to make it too big because if you go all the way it's going to pop to the back of your um, your canvas right here and you won't be able to move it around. So just bring your handles in a little bit. But what I want to do, make this smaller. So see when you save it as a PNG or you know an actual image you can move these around and that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to bring this down. Now this obviously is not going to be exact, but we are going to make it so it looks good. Okay, so this, bring this up a little bit more. And I'm sure you can find different uh, tumbler, tumbler tops, free mock-ups. If you have the uh, Creative Fabrica membership, you can find a lot, a lot of mock-ups in there. And bring that in a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm just going to duplicate this. You can either hit the duplicate button or you can hit your alt button and drag it over. I'm just hitting alt and do it again. And if you have a hard time when you're trying to um, move something on your screen, like sometimes it'll, it will snap and you can't really move it to where you want it. If you hit your control button, it'll give you, um, it'll let you move it a little bit easier. Okay, now with these, if you look at your design here, there's an L here, there's an L here, there's an L here, there's an L here, like where you know it would be. I would take this and I would flip this. Oops, wrong way. There we go. And then move this over so it looks like this is where your, this tumbler is all the same. Okay, so like this one, I would move this one. And then I would move this one as well. Okay. So now we are going to, because this does not have a background, I am going to add a shadow. So in elements, I want to grab, type in shadow. I'm going to grab this first one right here and I'm just going to shrink it down. And I put it here and then I'm going to duplicate it and go here, duplicate and duplicate and you can move those over all right and then i'm going to go to position layers and i'm going to drag those all behind so now it looks like we have a shadow i'm going to grab all those and just make them a little bit smaller here okay and I'm going to group that and I want to come back over here and I'm going to do a table background. I'm just going to click on this first one and I'm going to do set image as a background. And again, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay. And you can make this background here. Let me move this so we're a little bit smaller here. You can make this bigger, you can make it smaller. Okay, and if you want to change the color of your background, you can change that a little bit. Like say you don't like how light it is, you can make it a little bit darker. But that's it, now you've just made a Tumblr mock-up, okay? But there you go, there's your Tumblr mock-up. And what you would do is you'd come over to Share, and you want to click Download. 
and click down on here. You don't need any of these, so you can actually just unclick that and of the current page, which is what we're on right now, you can click that. Okay, done, download. And this is going to save your mock-up. Now you would want to put probably like a watermark on here so somebody wouldn't steal your design. That's what I would do. But this is your, actually, let me show you how to do that. I have, um, I don't know if I have any of my logo sign saved in here. I don't. So let's do, okay. obviously you want your logo, whatever you're going to use. You want it to be a transparent background so you can put it right over to the top of something here. If you don't have a logo and you want to make sure that you can cover this up, I would go to like say gray plaid. That's a pro, so you can't do that one. Uh, let's see, this one is not. So you could do something like this, like say you had a design and you didn't want somebody to steal it. You could do like this, you know, put it over the whole thing, but I'm just going to show you. And then you could take your and like maybe do like that or you could go to text and type your name in there or actually just put like maybe an X on there you can change your font if you want you know make sure you grab a free font you could maybe you could do whatever color you wanted to on here but then you could take this and you know make your transparency smaller just to move it around Obviously, I wouldn't put that on there because that's going to, you want something that's going to make it so people can't steal, but at the same time, you don't want to block your design. So I probably wouldn't use that. I would leave that, just move that there. I would go back to the, okay, I didn't leave it in there. Go back to the plaid, like find a free one. Um... Actually, you could just probably do this one. There's uh, different things that you can do. This is just one idea. Actually, I wouldn't do it over the whole thing. Maybe just over one and move your transparency down. Okay, that's a little bit better. Obviously, if somebody wants to steal something, they're going to do it. But this will help to tour a little bit, maybe. All right, but that's it, guys. Hope you like this. Um, if you have any questions. Drop them in the comments or feel free to come on over to the group and ask. But I hope this helped you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for being here.